I think for the sake of entertainment we will try this. It's funny, Joseph, that you mention it being so cheap because no matter which way you adjust prices, people are, there's always going to be someone who feels that you've adjusted it in the wrong direction and they will have their full justifications as to why. So if you make it cheaper, then you know, people such as yourself will mention the fact that, you know, that's probably going a bit cheap there, buddy. And if you go more expensive, you've got the people going, it's too expensive. And at the end of the day, I'm happy with where it is for the moment. And more importantly, at the end of the day, I like going up rather than down. Because, hey, it's more profit for me. I've got to recoup my couple of years working it. But the... I think that was my ultrasonic cleaner having a bit of a spaz. Man, this edge bonding is just nasty. Shrek donkey nasty. Uh, it could have been my hacker friend, Margarita. I've, I've got this guy that feels like he um, can hack everything and he's got a degree from the University of New Orleans and cyber hacking, whatever. He's got more degrees than I have got pimples on my backside. And... Um, He's constantly boasting how he's cracked flex board view. And I mean, I said to him, well, yeah, if you can crack flex board view, that's at least a start. But uh, it's not like I designed it to be this super secure program. It was, it's basically a, a rudimentary lock on the front door to stop the honest people. And that was about it. It's not like there's anything hyper secure about what we're doing inside flex board view. He so says, just to keep the honest people where they are. Anyway. He's, he's probably getting off now, the fact that I've even spoken about him. Personally, he reminds me of like a 13-year-old who's seen too many movies like The Net and uses all the jazz words. Crikey, come on, get off. Okay, I'm going to have to take an alternate route for this because I think the edge bonding is jammed up underneath it. This is probably, I'm going to probably fire truck this chip. There we go. Uh, now we get to see how bad this chip is. It's probably badly ruined because there's too much heat for too long. But we'll give it a go. Now, where's all my stuff? And of course tonight we're still going to continue on with the two ball technique. I really do like that technique. And I do wish I could remember who it was that suggested it because I would like to thank them. And that's the other thing that annoys me a lot with so many industries and people is that when people make suggestions on a technique you should try or something like that, so many times it's a, um, I wouldn't say a poison chalice, but it comes with strings attached. There's no 
you know, the whole um, altruism or for the greater benefit or anything like that is very much left in the wayside. And should you happen to take on someone's technique, they will hound you forever if, you know, if they're the kind of person about it. Or they'll say, you don't appropriately attribute me for this or whatever. And so you become very much like a smoke machine. Well, yeah. Um, you become very wary of people sending you things, making suggestions, anything like that. Because you're wondering, is this, is this a bit of an entrapment situation I'm about to get into? Six-cylinder Camry maintenance is more... What? There's a six-cylinder Camry? I thought they were all four-cylinders. Huh. Is that a V6 or an inline six? But anyway, when this uh, two-ball technique was presented to me, I felt like it was an actual genuine... Like, hey, why don't you try this? And it wasn't laden with some sort of trap that I would ever be forever afterwards paying for it. V6, okay. Um, the car I've got at the moment is an inline 6, 4.0 litre. It's uh, what we call a Barra engine. Which means they've crammed fish from the river called barramundi, which are really feisty little suckers. And they've, they've packed them into the engine. And we've got to keep them fed on fish food and brackish water. But uh, yeah, they really haul when you put your foot down on them. Ahmed, I actually the problem with the four a four ball technique is that you actually will run into an alignment issue potentially. Potentially. Not saying you will. I'm just saying potentially you could. At least with two it's kinda like you can always draw a straight line between two points. But you're not guaranteed to be able to draw a straight line between four points. I know, I'm being pedantic there, but, um, well, that's life. Uh, I'm not trying to um, diss the idea. I'm just thinking that it's probably not going to gain me that much more. And may, in fact, cause me more fun and games. I think the last V6 I had was a Nissan, sorry, <coughs> uh, yeah, Nissan, Nissan Navara Ute, it was a 3 litre V6, and that thing was ridiculously overpowered if you didn't have a load on the back. You'd need to put about, I think we need to put about 50 kilos on the rear tray just to stop it from spinning every time you put your foot down and it was definitely one of those um, what do they call them? sleeper cars like you'd be out the lights and your friends would come up and they'd taunt you and go ha oh, look you're in a stupid utility vehicle a ute and they'd have their great big V8 352's or whatever and then you just smoke them off the line because the you the ute would just be so light and so powerful for what it is anyway silly car stuff silly car stuff ah Benjamin I didn't know that they would um, produce the Camry in the V6 version here in Australia I always thought they were all V4 uh, just four cylinders Shows how much I know about current cars. But of course the sixes are falling out of favour now because of high registration costs and things like that. Uh, 
What do you think about the Toyota Hilux D4D? Don't know anything about that one. I really don't know much about cars. I can fix them. But I don't know much about them. It's kind of like if you put it in baseball terms. I can um, play baseball. But if you ask me what the stats were for Jimmy Freddy or whatever his name is, whoever he is, on 1966 or anything like that, then I'm completely clueless. Goes to me, the cam lobe and the valve. Modern ones are adjustable oil pressure instead of manually right hydraulic lifters. Oh, noisy on startup, yeah, so basically you've got to wait for the uh, the oil to get into the lifters so that they don't s smack the uh, valves around. That's okay, it's all going away anyway with the electric vehicles. I saw my first Tesla 3 the other day. I wanted to crash into it just so I could steal it. Shh, Vegemite, don't tell anyone I've got paper towel. I'll be running their backsides over here to get wiped. I wonder if I put all this into a metal tray. You know, I'm worried about the solder balls going everywhere. I'm sure I've got a metal tray around here somewhere. I think it was catchment tray for my pizza oven. <sighs> Where are you, tray? Hmm. Oh, there, or maybe I'll use the bottom of a MacBook, but nah. A tray would do the job better. Aha! Uh -huh. We have found the tray. Uh, uh, Nice and loud. Nice and bright. Alrighty. If there was one car I would love to have in original form and not bastardized by the idiots that try to sort of uh, hot up cars all the time. Uh, that would be the Nissan 300 ZX. That was a beautiful car. And these days, fat luck trying to find one that hasn't been ruined by some idiot. Someone going, oh, I'm going to stick a freaking big fat exhaust on this. And it's going to be louder and I'm going to go faster. It's like you idiot. I mean, fine, fine, fine. They can do that if they want, but... It just offends me so much to see such a beautiful car ruined by <laughs> such actions. If you want to do that, go get yourself a Subaru Impreza or something. But the 300 ZX, come on, that was a beautiful car. Didn't need to be treated like that. Anyway, so I haven't yet been able to find one that's in immaculate condition. Cornerball technique was provided by Con Gonzalo. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Wow, Joseph, that was awesome for you to um, go dig that up for me. Thank you very much. Joseph deserves some mods for that. Well, let's click the wrong thing. It's bad that hide user on this channel and add moderator are actually right next to each other on the list. That's bad. That's probably how Lewis accidentally eliminates a lot of people. 
you, know, you get these people saying, why did you ban me, Lewis? I thought we were getting along just great. And it's like, maybe you did think he was adding you as a mod and he slipped. Kind of like when you get caught with the wrong person in the bedroom. I just slipped. Yes, Gonzalo, I'm using your technique. I love it. It's a very nice technique. It saves me using tape. It's it's great. That's about all I can say. <laughs> yeah, I start repeating myself. It's great. This will be my third or fourth time now. You want to know if there's a board for you for the 2336 Mac Pro Um Sharp, I think someone did have a whole series of the earlier boards like that. I'll have to dig around, see if I can find them. I do recall seeing something like that, a whole series of earlier boards that weren't in the large collection that currently is being shared around. Daily is a Nissan Cube Gen 3. I don't know the Nissan Cube Gen 3. Okay, I'll have to look that up now. <laughs> or he says he's making them a mod and then does it on purpose. <laughs> Quite possible. <laughs> Uh, Alright, let's try and spill some balls in here and not make a mess too much. I really need to make, say, a, um, a tray that sort of cups around. Yeah, this is the tricky bit. Now, this is where I've got to learn a little bit more finesse. Because if you touch that stencil, but mostly because the stencil is actually buckled. If you didn't have a buckled stencil, this wouldn't be a problem, really. Alrighty. See if we can gently brush the bastards off. No. Throw that away, that's no good. I could try to shake it, but I have a feeling that will just end up making things worse. Ooh, there's one that needs to go in a hole. I took that one from its hole. I'm aiming for the balls that are outside the hole, but for some reason I keep hitting the ones going right past it and going inside the... Yeah. Okay, we're good. Now we can do the deform process. Fold a piece of paper. Yeah, 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 I suppose I could. Where's the fun of people making practical suggestions? What sort of bollocks is that? It's almost as bad as believing facts. Get our flux down. Now oh, that flux is a little hot. Funny thing is, once you put the flux down, you lose that sort of uh, magical electrostatic type connection. And you can't. So I can pick up the... Okay, that's good. Right, let's try it now.
Meanwhile, the check goes on about car names. Who can blame me? I'm doing 10 litres per minute air here, so very little. Do not get in there, you s little scurvy piece of ball. Okay, looks like they've all... And we've got one in the middle here that's playing silly buggers. Uh, one up the top there too. Uh, a couple actually. I don't normally have this much grief. The hell? Somehow I lost a ball there. Try to take that off and see how we are. You know, all right. Kind of waited a bit long to get this separated. Alright, looks like they're still all there. So this one here is causing trouble. See how it's... I don't know if it shows up on the captured image. But it's standing just a wee bit proud. Which makes me think it's not actually bonded down. Or at least not well enough. So we'll go back over it again. I don't trust you, little ball. Mm, but I should, I guess. No, oh, well. Nick469, just... Just because I want to. That's really what it comes down to. I've done pace plenty of times before. And I'm just sort of lately in the mood to use balls instead. So like some days I like vanilla ice cream, some days I want something else. And this technique is making it even easier for me. Especially once I get it a little more practice perhaps. But even at this point I'm feeling it's quite effective. <laughs> 